this is gonna have to do this hair is really annoying me so just please excuse this don't know what happens but it just doesn't play ball it's not sitting down it's driving me mad um oh hello guys how are you i need this coffee honestly what an operation it is I try to set up filming in this house <laughs> You'll be glad to hear me stop talking about it, won't you? Honestly, it's so annoying. But yeah, I resorted to sitting on the sofa today in the living room because this seems to be the only place where I'm not in direct sunlight. Maybe because it's so far back in the living room. Um, but anyway, how are you all? I hope you're all doing well. As you can see from the title, I have a huge Zara haul today. I don't know why I said huge like that. But yeah, I basically went on Zara about a week ago now and was like, right, I need to get some new pieces. I was looking in my wardrobe at the beginning of the year and just thinking, you know what? I just, I need to order some more trousers, some jeans, and just find a few pieces that can really rotate to my wardrobe. Kind of like lacking in that front. Um, and I also noticed there was quite a lot of jackets in the Zara sales. So I just wanted to get a few of those um, again just to play around and just to rework in my wardrobe so yeah that's what I've done I've got loads of stuff to show you some winners some not so without further ado get comfy grab yourself a hot drink or drink of choice um and yeah let's get into the Zara haul okay so jumping straight on in we're gonna start with jeans slash trousers this is a department in my wardrobe I really feel like I need to up my game in I just end up wearing the same black wide leg pair of trousers on repeat and I just want a few more pairs some ones that are nice quality good fitting so let me begin and show you what I picked up. I have seen these kind of like white waistband trousers going around on TikTok, Insta, um, and I just really like how you can style them up. Are they a little bit of a fashion piece? Maybe. But you know what? I feel like this white waistband was in last season as well. So I don't know. I don't think it's that much of like a fashion piece. I really like it. And no, I'll wear them next season anyway. So I picked up three of these in different colours. So I've got a grey, a pinstripe and a black. The black I'm actually wearing because I love them so much. And they're actually three complete different fits, if that makes sense. I just thought when I ordered these, they were basically the same but in different colours. But actually they're not. They all have different fits and they're a different sizing so we'll start with the black ones that I'm wearing actually I will zoom out and show you how I style them up and obviously show you like a full length um but basically these black ones do up with a side bit here so there's like a zip so that's how you can get into them and then they also have an elasticated waist which you can obviously cinch in and tie up with the drawstring the fit of these love I got a size small and they just fit perfectly. They're quite long in length. I am five foot three, so if you're the same height as me, you'll find they do drag on the floor. But I mean, I always kind of wear like my Converse that have got quite a bit of height on them. Um, so they're fine when I wear them. So I'd rather them be like a little long than short. I mean, it's nothing that you can't get altered if you do want to get them altered because they bug you that much. But yeah, I just love them. The fit of them is so nice. So I really recommend the first pair. And moving on to the dark grey pair that I got. So I thought I'd love these because I love the black, but like I said, they're just completely different. So with these, they're elasticated, but they don't have the side zip detail to get into them. And also the tight drawstring doesn't actually work. Like it's just all for show. So you can't cinch yourself in. I got these in an extra small. I think it was because, you know when you go to order trousers and Zara kind of tells you how they fit, it said that these ran big, so I got them in an extra small, but actually I probably would have benefited more from a small, um, yeah, I just don't like the fit as much as I do the black ones, so they are being returned. So then moving on to the grey pinstripe version of these, which again, I just absolutely love. I don't have a pair like this in my wardrobe, and I think with the pinstripe going through them, it makes them look a little bit smarter, um, and also, I know I've said like previously, about the waist maybe being like a bit more trend led if i'm wearing a jumper like this you wouldn't see the waist on them anyway so i don't really think it bothers me too much you can style it with the waistband on show or obviously with a longer jumper over so it doesn't really affect them um so yeah the 35.99 so i think they're all the same price and again i got these ones in an extra small now this just goes to show how crazy zara sizing is because these ones were too small on me. These ones fit like the small that I'm wearing now. So it's so random. These, like the black ones, are a lovely fit. Again, they don't have the zip thing on the side. But unlike the dark grey ones, these actually do 
tie up and have an elasticated waist so the tie up detailing isn't just for show you can obviously tighten them which is what I prefer then moving on to another pair of black trousers now these were like a low waist kind of flare trouser which I really really like I can't think off the top of my head how much they were in the sale but I'm gonna say like 15 pound I know they were really reduced they were initially 60 pound and let me tell you now these are such a nice quality like they feel beautiful you can just tell they are nice and on they are beautiful however got these in a the small they are so tight it's ridiculous um so yeah unfortunately they're gonna have to go back i need a medium in these at least i think but yeah it's such a shame because i do really like these i mean i don't really get the frayed kind of edging on the waistband but um yeah they are such a nice pair of trousers if you can get the right size then moving on to the last pair of trousers i picked up so this time we have more of like a tapered leg so it just kind of goes in a little bit straighter and narrower which i really like because i do tend to own a lot of wide leg trousers but with these i just find them like really smart and like i say just something a little different the only issue or like kind of reservation i have about these is that they're a little bit of an ankle grazer i don't know about you but i'm just i'm not sure do you know when a trouser like a funny length like it's neither here or there I'm like, can I rock that? Can I not? But then I was thinking, like, with my high top Converse, I've got two different pairs. These could look really nice. And I even tried them on with my Adidas Gazelles. And I feel like they look quite nice with them, with that trainer. And even Uggs. Do you know what? I'm keeping these because I do really love them. So I got these in an extra small. And again, they fit perfect. There's plenty of room. They are a gorgeous fit. They were $29.99. I'm not sure if these were in the sale or not. Um, but yeah, these are such a nice pair of trousers. Okay, next up we're going to move on to jeans. So I picked up three pairs. I'm on the quest for like just some real nice fitting jeans in my wardrobe because admittedly I don't really go towards a jean on a day-to-day -day basis. Does anyone else just rather go for like a wide leg pair of trousers that are nice, slouchy and comfy or a legging? Because that's, that's me to be honest with you. Anyway, the first pair I picked up is this kind of like black faded wash looks stunning on the website you know i had high hopes these are the regular fit height rise got them in a 10 but you know what girls they are so tight like just not comfy at all 35.99 so a decent price but no they weren't for me i didn't feel nice in them i felt really uncomfortable so maybe i need a 12 in those then the next pair i picked up was these straight fit high rise um ankle rigid that's what they're called Again, got these in a 10. These ones are 29.99. So I had real high hopes of these because I love the blue wash of these. Like how nice is that? Especially for like spring as well. Really like the bottoms of them. They're kind of like a little frayed and distressed. But again, the fit lets us down here. Just still not that comfy. They were much better than the black, but I still felt a little bit tight and yeah, just a bit stiff, not that comfortable. Um, so yeah. They're not, they're not good enough to stay, guys. They're going back. <laughs> then moving on to the last ones I picked up and the last ones I tried on. And they are the Zara Regular Fit High Rise. Again, got these in a 10. These were $35.99. And oh my goodness, out of all of them, these are the winners. I absolutely love these. So again, they're in a real nice like medium blue wash. Oh, but the fit of these, obviously you'll see on the try on, I think you probably will agree, they just fitted the nicest out of all of them, they had plenty of room around the waist, they were nice and roomy, I just felt comfortable everywhere, I didn't feel like I was being cut off, I didn't feel like they was too tight, as far as jeans goes, these are the most comfortable, and yeah, I think I will probably be keeping these. Right, next I'm going to move on to two basics that I picked up, first actually being the one I'm wearing, um, and it's just a black jumper very basic black hoodie jumper this is actually from the men's section zara um, i can't remember the prices because i have took it out maybe like 30 pound i'm gonna say um i got a size medium if i'm honest it's a bit of a weird fit i think i could have even gone bigger i mean it does fit nice ones on but do you have a neck on it it's quite hard to get over like my head but yeah anyway i always prefer the men's jumpers compared to the women's they just feel like such a better fit i always used to wear mitchell's black hoodie so i thought you know what about time I actually get my own. So yeah, pick this up and it's obviously going to go with so many different things. I then picked up another bodysuit because I have this exact one in black and I just love it. I wear it all the time. Um, so I got the white version, $17.99 in a small. Literally just looks like this long sleeve body. And yeah, it's just in that like real nice, almost like skims fabric. 
I just really like how these fit. So yeah, I don't have a white one, so I grabbed that. Moving on to jackets, I really wanted to up my jacket game, and as quite a few were in the sale, I thought now is the time to buy them. So the first one I picked up, I feel like I may keep this. Um, has the tag gone off? I feel like the tag has fell off. So anyway, this was £150 initially. In the sale, I feel like I picked this up for £40.50, I'm going to say. And it is just this gorgeous black jacket. It has pockets either side. I don't know how well you're going to see this, but obviously you'll see it in the try-on. And then the arms are like really kind of like just loose and oversized, which I love. As you can see on the cuff of the arms as well, it actually has this like black suede and the black suede also is on the collar. I didn't know if I was going to like that detail in, but actually I think I quite like it. Um, the thickness and just the weight of this as well feels very expensive. So I can kind of see why it was initially 150. It's a very nice jacket and I love how this fits as well. I believe I got this in a small. Um, then moving on to something slightly different, red. I know, me and colour, it doesn't really go normally, but I feel like since I've gone lighter with my hair, I feel like red is the one, you know. I really like red at the moment. So I thought I'd get this to inject a little bit of colour into my wardrobe. As I wear a lot of black outfits, I feel like I could probably rework and style this in quite a few different ways. The only thing is with this, right, is I got it in a medium and I feel like I need a size bigger. It was £49.99, so it wasn't the cheapest. Um, so I feel like I need to really love it and feel like I'm going to get my wear out of it to keep it. And like I say, I feel like it's just a little bit too small as well. Because I can wear it just with a thin top underneath. But with a jumper, it would just be too tight. Then moving on to a grey jumper that I picked up. I saw this when I walked into Primark before Christmas. I was like, that is just such a nice basic grey jumper. So I did end up getting one from Primark. But I just kept thinking about this grey one. Because I kind of loved the colour more of this Zara one. And also the fit just looked nicer. So anyway, I went ahead and got it. It was for $32.99. I got it in a size medium and let me just tell you now this is such a nice grey basic jumper like the fit is just so nice the quality and softness is unreal um so yeah I think this is going to be another keep because again I'll rework this with loads of outfits and it will just be something that stays in my wardrobe hopefully for a few years as long as it washes nice <laughs> And then moving on to two other jackets I got. Now this one, I actually showed you guys this in a vlog ages ago like when it first came out in store and I did actually buy it there and then when I showed you but I bought a small and then when I got home I was trying it on and I was just like I can't keep this because it's too tight and I wanted to have a jacket that I could wear you know over like what I'm wearing now because obviously England is cold <laughs> and yeah I just couldn't do that with the size small so I ended up returning it then couldn't get a bigger size um, and yeah when I was doing this order I saw they had a large in so I was like you know what I am gonna get that because I just know it'll be something again that I wear a lot of and I can rework in my wardrobe so it is this great jacket I just love this I know so many of you also did really like this when I showed it you before they actually have different colours of this as well now i believe they do it in like a white cream and a, maybe a darker gray but yeah i just i really like this jacket so i'm so glad i got that and um, then another jacket i got i actually treated myself to this before christmas this was like a little christmas treat to myself and annoyingly i paid full price and now i feel like final sale reduction it's gone down to something ridiculous like 40 pound yeah, let's not even talk about how much I paid for this because it was a lot. But do you know what? I have got my wear out of it. Like, I've worn it a lot already and I've reworked it into a few different looks. So I'm not mad about it. Um, I got this in an extra small to small. I do really like the oversizeness of this. So I'm not going to say that. Uh, but yeah, it's just like a back wing, super oversized jacket. This won't be for everyone at all. Um, as my brother says, when I wear this, I look like a flying squirrel. But I don't care. I, I like squirrels. Anyway, guys, that is everything I got for part one of my Zara haul. I was going to film it all together, but honestly, there's so much. And I just feel like this video will end up being like an hour long if I do it all in one. So, yeah, that is part one of my Zara haul. Stay tuned for part two. Let me know your favourite items as well from this haul. And I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.